Hello, this is Bern, and if you are in the middle of an abusive relationship and you know it's time to end it, it's time to leave and you have not been able to do it, well, please stick around and watch this video because on today's episode, I'm going to be guiding you through seven master steps that need to be present for you to be able to do this instead of staying stuck in a relationship that's destroying your chances for happiness and for a fulfilled life. Hello, this is Bern, and welcome to your great life to be .com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. On today's episode, I'm going to be guiding you through seven steps you need to step into if you want to leave an abusive relationship, a relationship that you you know in your heart of hearts is destructive for your well-being, for your self-esteem, for your future. If you have children, for your children. Uh, if you are on the verge of making a decision, but you're still not sure how to do this, well, let me give you some steps that you can hold on to and practice so that this becomes a reality for you. The first thing is get emotionally clear on the ultimate cost of what your life is and will be should you decide to stay in the painful comfort that you're in right now and not end the relationship. Because here's the truth, if you know that this is an abusive relationship mentally, sexually, emotionally, physically, or all levels, and you're still staying stuck on that situation, at some level, the fear of the unknown, the certainty of having someone to be there for you, or your own addictive patterns in terms of feeling intensity with this guy are keeping you in a situation that can be the end of you, basically. So. The first thing is for you to be very clear emotionally in terms of if you feel pain right now, how much worse will it get should you decide not to change? So if you take yourself through a journey and you put yourself six months into the future, a year into the future, three years into the future, five years into the future, and you connect vividly to how you look, how you'll feel, the impact on your children if you have them, the impact on your friends and family members who love you and who feel desperate and impotent at the inability to get you out of this shit situation that you've put yourself in, your situation at work, your situation in terms of your mission in life, if you get clear and vivid as to how you'll fucking look and feel in a probably shitty way, if you don't change this, then that emotional intensity of what the future will be like might kick you in the stomach strong enough where you're willing to wake up at least and consider the alternative. Instead of just saying, well, I could miss out on this, you'll also know that you'll miss out on everything you want should you remain in this abusive relationship. That's the first thing, get emotionally clear and get reconnected to the ultimate pain you'll endure should you choose to stay still and not move forward. Second one is you need to make the decision to leave this man without knowing how. So I'm not saying uh, just decide to leave and leave him. That's going to be, we're going to discuss the different steps, but you need to be willing to say, I need to leave this man. Because if you wait until you have the answer, if you wait until you know exactly how before you make the decision, you're never going to get enough clarity because you don't have enough leverage and because you don't have enough hunger because why would you really research something that's not really a decision? If you want to move forward, make the decision, say, I am out of this relationship for me, for my children, for my future, for my, uh, the, my path on this planet, I need to leave this guy. Now, when you make that decision, uh, you'll be able to see things differently than if you still think in your mind, well, there's maybe a chance I'm going to stay here. Uh, once you make the decision, third step is to raise the level of your emotional fitness. That means that for the next and it depends because the situation you might be in right now might require an immediate leaving of the guy or it might be a situation where you can still hang out for maybe a week or two or a month or something while you get stronger. I'm not in your specific situation so I can't just arbitrarily say you have to leave him today. It, in situations sometimes it may not be possible or the best thing but you need to be able to raise your level of emotional fitness and that's something that's easily done. Not, I mean when I say easily I say it, it can be immediate. Right? Emotional fitness is how you feel, right? And the emotional fitness, where you are in life, is dictated by two forces. One is the way you move, your body posture, the way you stand, the way you smile or not smile, the, the level of exercise that you step into, what you fit into your body. So the first one is going to be determined by how, what physiology you step into. So if you want to raise your emotional fitness, you have to be very cognizant of the patterns of feeling depressed and down and, and, and sad that create that emotion of sadness. So first is raise your emotional fitness, 
start exercising more, start moving more, start paying attention to when you go into a pattern of feeling sad and break out of it physiologically. Second one is ask yourself better questions. If the question you subconsciously ask yourself is, if I, what happens if I never man up? If I never find someone who loves me as much, well, that's a shitty question, especially if the guy is being abusive towards you. If you ask a question such as, how can I redeem myself or how can I create a stronger connection in the future with someone who respects me or how can I give my friends and my family an example of what emotional endurance is or uh, how can I express myself in a way that is representative of my greatness instead of my sadness. If you ask better questions in the quest of making this change, this change will become doable. The reason why you're not making the change is not necessarily lack of strategy, even though lack of strategy is important, but the emotional states that you're in will determine whether you can do this or not. So step number three is one of the most important ones because without, if you skip this step, if you don't figure out ways to get stronger emotionally, to get more vibrant, to get more connected to certainty versus fear, you're not going to be able to break free. So get into a conscious, alive, centered state, grounded state, and from this place, take the next steps. Next step is get support. I don't care if your support is a uh, coach, for example, that support, but if your coach, if it's therapy, if it's a friend who loves you, who's not going to let you off the hook, set an intention with that help. So whatever help you're choosing to get, whether it's professional help or maybe you're in a super sad situation and there's absolutely no finances and there's no way for you to get yourself that support, get a friend or get a family member who loves you and respects you to be accountable for. So set the intention, set, uh, tell your friend, tell your family member, or tell your coach, here's what I intend to do. I want to leave this man, I, I don't know, how can you please help me? Ask for help. You don't have to do this alone. As a matter of fact, if you do it alone, you have a much higher chance of failing. So ask for help, don't, don't wing it, okay? With that help, the next step is step number five is you're gonna make an imperfect plan. Imperfect plan means that, yeah, if, you, if if you wait until the plan is perfect, you may never in your life do this. So come up with a plan that's imperfect, uh, and that means just the logistical side of it. Where are you gonna live if you leave with him right now? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna do, I mean, do you need to contact a, a lawyer, for example? Just figure out the bare minimum things you have to do so you doesn't get, a, don't create a 25 part plan, create, these are the most essential things I need to figure out on. Finances, uh, living arrangement, uh, legal help if it's needed. And there are also organizations that can provide you with some legal advice without them uh, charging you an arm and a leg for it. So if you're hungry and you're in the right state, you're gonna find more answers. So create that imperfect plan. Step number six, anticipate contingencies. Why? Because shit will happen, right? And things will not necessarily go according to plan. So uh, the guy may not be the best, uh, he may not take the best way when you do things. So anticipate, well, if this guy acts this way, what would I do? If this part of the plan fails, how can I do it? I mean, don't dwell on it, but know that there's things that may not come according to plan and just make sure that you have some way, that you've thought about it before it happens because when it happens, sometimes it's too late. If you're in the right state, you might be able to do it, Wait, I mean, get out of it, but just better for you to anticipate what are some possible holes in the plan, what, what's the worst case scenario in terms of what he can do, and, and just deal with it in advance as much as possible. If you need to contact police, do that. Just make sure that you're doing something smart and make sure that you are anticipating potential challenges. Step number seven, and this is the biggest one of all. If you've done the other ones, the step number seven is to just do it. Why? Because, uh, you can have the best strategy in the world, the best emotional state, the know that you're virtually going to die if you stay in this relationship, if not physically, emotionally, but if you don't take action, if you don't take the first step, then it's not going to happen. So you'll come to a point in your life where you just, you've done the best you can to prepare and what you have to do is do it. Get yourself into an emotional state of strength, get yourself into an emotional state of courage, and then take that action wishing for, I mean, just at some level you have to have faith and faith that if you're being courageous and you're being, you're taking action, that the best possible outcome that can happen will actually happen. Why? Because sometimes in life you have two choices and one is a shitty choice and the other one is a shittier choice. Sometimes you don't have the option of having, well, one option is Bali and sunshine and drink in my hand and the other one is abusive relationship. In your case, if you've been in an abusive relationship for a while, leaving the relationship might be painful 
in different levels, financially, it might be uh, emotionally painful. But, so it's that's the shitty option. The shittier option is to not do it. The shittier option is to stay in a situation that is far less, it's beneath you basically. It's something that you, you don't deserve. You don't deserve to be in a situation that's abusive. So again, recap the plan, uh, the steps quickly for you. Number one, get emotionally clear on the ultimate cost. Step into it. Number two, make the decision to leave even before you know how. Just make that decision first. Third, raise your level of emotional fitness. Number four, get support. Set an intention. Be accountable. Ask for help. Number five, make an imperfect plan. It's not going to be perfect, but imperfect is better than nothing. Anticipate contingencies and then step into your faith and step into your highest level of resourceful state and go forward and do it. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If uh, you find that it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And then number three, on the first line of the description of this video, you're going to find a link that allows you to sign up to a webinar that will show you the alternative to this, which is how to create that relationship. Some of you are not leaving that person because you're saying, well, there's no way I can create this relationship. There's no way I can actually get what I want. This thing that I put together for you will show you in very clear steps of how when you leave this man, when you get healthy, when you get better, there is absolutely help for you in terms of being able to get what you want. Very specific steps as to how you can create the most amazing relationship of your life, and how all the women who've gone through hell and back have done it. Step into it and you start watching it right away. Thank you for connecting with me. Be courageous, be strong. Know, as I said before, that there's sometimes two shitty options, one shittier than the other. When presented with shitty and shittier, choose shitty. Okay? It's always the best option. Sending you all my love.